I met a girl crazy for me. Then you said, Very loud, I don't know. That was about 12 hours. It's impossible. You know, it's, it's capturing. Like it's just fun. I can play him very chilling. Do you? Sing. I'm at the bathroom. Sorbet. Sorbet. Guys, please. Sorbet. <laughs> guys, we ready? Okay. Yeah? Okay. So, Alicia, what made you decide to pick up this character, Bad Girl? I was asked. <laughs> <laughs> they said, will you be Bad Girl? And, mm -hmm. uh, Joel asked me to be Bad Girl, and I said yes. And is it true that, I mean, you said just jazz without reading the script? Well, you ha yeah, they don't, they don't, the script wasn't ready for way after. Mm -hmm. um, I said, yes, he, you know, Joel just tells you the story and tells you what he wants it mm -hmm. to be about. And it either sounds good or it doesn't. And it's not, it's hard for it not to sound good, you know? Yes, yes. It's exactly. so exciting. So. Yes. What was the most exciting thing in the movie that you enjoyed the most? Well, when I saw it. The most exciting thing mm -hmm. was the cars chasing off that hand and then Chris going screaming. I loved when Chris <laughs> screamed at George for stopping cutting off all his power. Mm -hmm. I thought that was great. Mm -hmm. And what about your next projects? Are, I mean, are you planning to still in action movies or drama movies? I don't consider myself, I'm definitely not an action girl. I mean, mm -hmm. Batman is different and completely isolated, but I'm not. You're not cut action. out for an action yes. action career, um, but I but I don't have any category. I'm just sort of going along, doing what I like when I like it. Mm -hmm. Are you going to produce some movies? I produced a film um, mm -hmm. that opens August 8th called Excess Baggage, mm -hmm. and that was a really really tremendous experience for me. And I loved it, loved it, learned so much from it, and want to continue to to do that. How old are you? Twenty. 20. So you're pretty, you, I mean, you're very young. And what do you think about younghood now? I mean, in your country? What do I think of what? Younghood in your younghood. country. What um, they are they need, so. I don't know. I, I don't think of. Um, it's really hard and really presumptuous to isolate youth in one country or another. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm of any authority to, cho to decide what this country's youth is like as opposed to another country's. But I think mm -hmm. overall, the whole world lacks in a lot of love and a lot mm -hmm. of uh, security. There's so much fear and so much greed and so much pain and mm -hmm. not a lot of support system for that. And I think that, you know, young people just really need to like chill and like learn that they're cool the way they are and they don't have to, There's so much fighting to be something that you're not and fighting to be the prettiest and fighting mm -hmm. to be the most successful. Mm -hmm. And rather than just fighting to believe that you're, to be really confident in what you do and be mm -hmm. happy with who you are. Mm -hmm. And that's really important, really, mm -hmm. really important. Yeah, how long time it takes you to, to get that confidence on you if you didn't have it, no? I think it's... That's another thing I don't, not an authority on. I have no mm -hmm. idea how to have it if you don't. I don't know how I learned that. I just never believed in anything but being honest and, 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 and love. And maybe it comes from really uh, opposite parents, having really, really opposites. Okay. And mm -hmm. my mom, I don't know where it, really where it comes from. Mm -hmm. All I know is that I, can't imagine anything being more important than being happy and being in love. Nothing else could be more important in the entire world um, to me. And mm -hmm. so... Yes, I agree. And because of that, it makes everything else easy, you yeah, know? Exactly. Yes, you're right. Okay, thank you. <laughs>